Hello everyone and welcome back to the 101 Dalmatians challenge here in Sims 3 with all expansion packs and quite a bit of custom content and it is a stunning absolutely beautiful winter day on the farm. Look at this. This is Rolly. He's running around sniffing out some collectibles in the early morning snowfall. It is so so pretty. Look at the house. We've got like holiday lights up on the house. We've got icicles hanging down from it. It's so beautiful. Just everything. The sun rising and the distance. <gasps> I love, love, love the land that these guys live on. I just absolutely love watching them and watching their families grow. It's so awesome. And we've got so many people now and so many puppies. So we have Skittles and Turtle and like, look at all the babies. Most of them are sleeping here in the barn. We've got Skittles, Turtle, who's apparently like running in the snow. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? He's just a couple, he's just a couple of puffs of, of puffiness. Where is he? Where'd he go? There you are. Oh, he's disappearing. Oh, look at him. Look at him. That's all we see of our little puppy. So we've got Skittles, a Turtle, and then their new sisters, Amelia and Diamond. We've also got little Percy, and we have Bew, who's apparently sleeping outside. Man, this is one tough puppy. We're going to wake him up and have him pee over here and then go inside. <laughs> what is he doing out there? It's so cold. But the puppies are having a great day. Apparently, they're pretty immune to the cold. They must have nice thick fur. They're running around, having a great time around the barn. And Roger and Anita are currently sleeping because they just had a new addition to the family. Ta-da! It's little baby Emma. So we have little Emma who is just a tiny little baby right now. She's going to be a baby for a few days. Oh my gosh, I didn't know her favorite colors. She is a virtuoso who is friendly. So she has her father's virtuoso trait and her mother's dog lover trait that translated into being friendly since you cannot give babies dog lover traits. And she loves fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches, Chinese music, and the color black. That is definitely a very unique little kid that we have here. It's going to be fascinating to see what she grows up into. So she's doing okay. It's her first day in the world. Just kind of, kind of chilling. And then let's see who else is doing what. Bridget, the nanny, is passed out. We'll probably wake her up as soon as the babies need some attention. She's been a little bit distracted with a new romance that she is striking up with Blake, or Buck, excuse me, lately. So we'll have to have her maybe meet with Mr. Buck here, Mr. Fullersworth, and see how that relationship goes. And I'm pretty sure we're going to have her leave soon. She's not going to be our nanny much longer, which would just be like, oh my gosh. But that was always the plan, that she'd only stay like a few years and then go off to university. So, oh man, I don't know. Maybe maybe she won't leave after all because she'll find love with Buck and want to stay in town instead of going away to university. So we'll have to see there. Whoops, the baby needs some attention. Baby is hungry. So guess what, Nanny? That's your cue. Time to wake up and, and meet the new baby. So we're going to give the little baby a new snuggle. And let's see, we'll give her a little bottle. And let's see, change her little diaper. And then what else is going on? Terry is apparently extreme rocking. That's what it says, extreme rock in the rocking chair. And so he seems like he's having a good time. I'm going to have him try to message his friend, Trisha, before he goes to school today. So he's off to school to complete an opportunity for learning the writing skill. Yes, Thunder has just improved his skills to level 8 of the hunting skills. So he's becoming a really good hunting dog for us. And when the dogs hunt, they gather up collectibles. So that's why they are so cool. Let's see. Oh, and Bridget is just holding the brand new baby for the first time. Perdita has found some metal. Busy morning. Busy morning indeed. Oh my goodness. All right, Perdita. What did you find? Some plutonium. Not bad. We'll go ahead and sell that. That is worth a lot of money. And she's got her little baby turtle. Let's come over here. Can we nuzzle him? Is he in the mood? We'll nuzzle turtle. Let's play with turtle. Just goof around with him for a little bit. And then let's see. Apparently there's a planter in the way. All right, let's see. Play, chase, friendly, nuzzle. Nope, planter's in the way. Why is the planter bothering them? That's so weird. Well, if she can't do that, we'll have her go and sniff out a collectible eventually. All right, school has just arrived. Good, and he's talking with Trisha. We're gonna try to invite Trisha and Chase over tonight so that they don't have to go. All right, come on. What is going on? Unfinished room. Bad night's sleep. <gasps> Where are you, child? Meredith, how did you even get in there? What on earth even happened? Oh my goodness. 
how did this even happen? There's her little, like, best friend. Her imaginary friend is over there. I don't even know how Meredith managed to get in there. I think I need to temporarily put, like, a little door up. What on earth? Poor Meredith. She just got trapped in another room. Wow, we have so much money now. We went from, like, just a little bit to... Can I get her out of there? Am I going to have to just take the wall away for a second? I don't want to have to reset her because that can just cause so many problems. Meredith, come on. What are you even doing? That's right, get out of there. I have no idea how she managed to get herself trapped like that. It's kind of hilarious. All right, there. I'm gonna carefully like, put this back together. Goodness gracious, worrying me, child, worrying me. So we're gonna send her off to school too. Oh my gosh, I forgot how they have to run all the way out into the middle of nowhere. Go to school. So there we go. So Meredith is off to school. And that just leaves the new babies. Pongo just found a gem. All right, new baby is taken care of. Good. Yeah, Pongo just found a gem. Rolly found a gem. Thunder found some metal. That's pretty hilarious. So everybody just found something. Perdita's off looking for something. Oh dear. And now there's another one of the imaginary friends. So we'll probably get rid of it. Because I don't think we want to keep all these imaginary friends all the time. Buy a hot tub. My gosh. Roger, with what money? What money, I ask you? So what did Pongo find? He has found a pink diamond. That is pretty fantastic. Let's go up to the collection attic where we're keeping everything the dogs collect. Oh, so they turn back into like normal imaginary, like just the normal toys after a while. Huh, well that's interesting. All right, let's put this pink diamond up here. Now we have two pink diamonds. Eventually we should be able to get those cut. Let's see, here's a sunstone. I think we might have to send the sunstones and other things in to get cut eventually. Because we, we need... Alright, let's go ahead and open this. Because we need to get lots and lots of gems cut in order to get higher value cuts. But... Rolly has the aggressive trait! No! Rolly, why? Why? That's not what we wanted. Oh my gosh, supernova, yum. Holy moly. This complex composite supernatural alloy is sure to blow away the other metals in your collection. I'll say it's worth so much. Wow, I'm going to put it up here. I think we have another supernovium down here. Yeah, we've got like good supernovium. Good job. All right, and anything here? Nope. I think Pongo, did you find something? Nope. All right, we'll probably have him search around a little bit more. Dang it, Rolly. You and the mailman obsession that you have. I think that's from chasing the mailman, and that's how he got the obsession. No, fleas! Also, the stray cat's here. Dang it. Yeah, he was chasing the mailman away again. I just was not able to prevent him from doing that way too often. All right, Rolly. Darn you. Darn you. <laughs> Chasing away the mailman, and now you have the aggressive trait. More likely to get into fights with other pets. Will always catch burglars that come onto your lot. More likely to chase the mailman. Oh, man. We should have, like, not... We never reinforced it, but we should have scolded him. It didn't occur to me that that was a behavior we could have scolded him for. All right. Bridget's filling up dog food bowls and tripping over herself. And we're going to go ahead and give a flea bath to Rolly. That is something that she definitely wants to happen. And we might actually send Bridget out, like, maybe on a date today at the bistro to just enjoy going with Buck. So that would kind of be really fun. All right, Meredith, are you off at school? She is off at school. She's exhausted from a bad night's sleep. Perdita has now found a gemstone. Yay! And actually, um, little Terry there just got a boost to his grades because he did an opportunity that had to do with writing. So I thought that was really cool because his mom is a writer and he wanted to be a writer too. All right, another pink diamond. <laughs> We're sitting on top of so many diamonds, apparently. We really would, it really would behoove us to like expand the garage a little bit and get a rock cutter. So we might invest in a rock cutter instead of just sending it off all the time. Because Roger might start gaining some skills that way. All right, Roger. Probably time for you to wake up pretty soon. He wants to hold his baby. He has a lot he needs to do. All right, we're going to go ahead and shower. I do want to try to get Roger abducted, by the way. And I was doing lots of reading. Apparently, it is very difficult to get Sims abducted. So I don't know if we can pull it off, but that is one of my big goals. No, we need to bathe Rolly. Where'd he go? Who has fleas? Oh my gosh. No, not another flea penalty. Ah, fleas are so hard to prevent. Dang it. 
All right, Pongo, come here. I need you to like come over here. All right, Bridget, we're gonna we're gonna end up just having to have you like bathe the dogs a bajillion times. Perdita has just gotten up to level eight of the hunting skill. Fantastic. Pongo is right here. All right, gotta give him a flea bath. Come on, Pongo. Bridget's about to pass out too. Darn. I really was gonna send her out on like a little date today, but it doesn't look like we'll be able to. All right, how's the little puppy? He's eating. He'll go play with the toy afterward. I'm glad the dogs can pretty much take care of themselves. When is Skittles? Oh, it's still so long before there, some of the puppies grow up. And now the house is kind of crowded. Oh, gracious. All right. You know what? I think we will buy a gym cutting machine. And when is little, little Andrea going to grow up? Andrea, little toddler Andrea. You grow up in three days. We'll have your dad go ahead and bring you to the potty in a second. No interactions available, apparently. So we'll have him feed you in the high chair in just a second. There we go. That should do it. And Nita actually woke up early and made some waffles today, too. All right. Bridget, did you bathe the dog? One dog down. Many more dogs to go. Rolly, you're going to stay right there. And you're going to let Miss Bridget give you a good flea bath. That is going to happen. Pongo, how are you doing? He's off to eat. They have done their due diligence in collecting enough gemstones today, if you ask me. Because they've gotten so many pink diamonds and that big chunk of metal. I think we will just work on um, going ahead and maybe doing the gem stuff ourselves. Because I've never really messed with that. The North Star family has a gem cutter. I've just never like played around with it. All right, we're going to make sure Rolly goes and gets his bath today. When the kids get home, I would love for them to be able to make some snowmen. In you go, Rolly. All right, that should do it this time. Everybody's eating. Perdita found something interesting. She's in a good mood when she's... Oh, she's training fatigued. Darn. All right, she found another snake skin or a feather. Well, we'll leave her be then. Play with another pet. Play with another pet. Which pet? Like, I think that's Skittles. I think she wants to play with Skittles. So we'll send Perdita over to play with Skittles. Um, play... Chase. Hopefully that'll work. That's the dog gnome! I wonder how many dog gnomes we have now. There's one there. It might be the same one that's just wandering around the yard, though. So I'm not sure how many dog gnomes we have. Good. Bridget's giving him a bath. How's the toddler? No, I missed the opportunity to like teach her how to use the potty again. Ah, oh, fudge knuckles. All right, well, let's change your dirty diaper. Roger, you're going to spend a little bit of time taking care of Andrea and being a good dad. We'll tickle her a little bit. Maybe attack her with the claw. What's his relationship like with his kids? He needs to get closer to Terry. He's a distant friend with his own son, Terry. So we're definitely going to try to do more family activities. Um, let's see. Teach to talk? We could work on teach to talk a little bit. Is the baby awake? The baby is awake, though. And we do want to be able... Put Andrea here. I do need to cuddle the baby. Because that's something that he wants to do. Alright, he wants to hold his daughter for the first time. Of course we're going to let him snuggle her. All right, and how are we doing over here? All right, you, sir, need to come outside and pee outside, Thunder. And then, Bridget, you can have a nap after you finish bathing the last of the dogs. Oh, gosh. All right, Perdita, what are you doing? She wants to playfully chase Diamond. She wants to sniff Turtle. And she wants to play with another pet. And I still can't tell which pet it is because there's so many puppies that could meet those criteria. Oh, there's Diamond. All right, so let's try friendly sniff and special goof around. Alright, Thunder, come over here. We're going to give a flea bath to Thunder. Alright, hopefully we can get this done. Yay! Roger's picked up his baby Emma for the first time. Always a precious moment. Always such a precious moment. He's like, I have so many children now. You're a dad of four kids now. What do you think about that, huh? All right. Oh, look at that. And she has a dirty diaper right there. <laughs> right now. That's kind of hilarious. All right. Change dirty diaper. Yeah. There you go, little one. There you go, Emma. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and use this. And I am actually gonna take this imaginary friend away from Andrea. So Andrea, I'm sorry. We're gonna put that away. We're gonna put your little imaginary friend away and I'm gonna get rid of him somehow. I need to like dispose of him. All right, come here you. Why can't I delete you? It's so annoying. Like what else am I supposed to do with you? How do you get rid of him? How do you make them go away and never plague us again? Do I just, I think I'm just gonna have to stick him in somebody's inventory. Can I stick him in? Sing to Snuggles, that's not what we want. It's not like I don't want the child to be happy. It's just, there, all right, thank goodness. We've taken Andrea's toy. Ah, oh, no, we have fleas. Bridget, I'm sorry. It's just the way of things. You're earning your nanny keep in a different way today. Out in the cold. Out in the freezing cold, taking care of things. Oh gosh. All right, Rolly already has a flea bath. We don't have to worry about that. He wants to play a game with Meredith. Absolutely adorable. And now our little genius over here, who really loves her toy. Oh, why does that have to break my heart? Our clumsy genius, Andrea, is enjoying playing a little bit of music. So, you know, she's got to build her skills. I think it's very important for her to build her skills. Wonderful. Anita just woke up. And Roger, I think we're actually going to go ahead and snag that gem cutting machine. Because I've never really tried playing around with it before. I think it could be kind of interesting. And we're going to see about expanding the attic of, yeah, we're going to see about expanding the attic up here of our barn. If I can figure out how to do that with the roofing. Roof. I really love that roof. I really love this roof. I'm going to have to figure out how to replace those. All right, all right, that's how you do the little one. I know it seems like such a, a minor little thing, but remember guys, this is all still pretty new to me. All right, put that roof there. And we're gonna add a wall! And we'll have like a little gym cutting room, I hope. That's kind of my goal, is like this will turn into a little room where we can keep the cut gems. Uh, it's just, doesn't need to be much. It's literally just a closet room in a barn. So it really doesn't need to be fancy, but this is gonna be exciting. I've never played with this before and it's a piece of store content that I did pay for. So, you know, if I, if I paid for it and bought it, you think you should spend a little bit of time actually playing with it, right? All right, so let's put this down and then we should be able to move in like the big old chest and I can just shove the box in another corner. I really like the wall of gems that we have over here though. That's kind of fun. Hmm, maybe I'll do it like this. We'll make it an open room. So we'll take this and yeah, there we go. There we go. We don't really have to mess with it too much this way. And whoops, I forgot the gym cutter. <laughs> and I need to put the roof on still. So let me try putting, well, we can just probably leave this box over in the corner too. Because it's not like anything is going to mess with it. And it's kind of fun just to make it look like a cluttered attic the way it is. Ah, and that's Meredith's toy, Pat. So I can't really mess with that. Ah, that rhymed. All right, so let's go ahead. I think this is going to be under, like, skills, entertainment, skills, gem cutter, the gem cutter. I was just looking at it a few episodes ago, I think, because I remember vaguely going like, oh, that's the gem cutter. We should use it for something someday. Should we get it or not? Yeah, dragon's egg. And the alchemy station. And the gem you cut machine. All right, it doesn't cost that much. So we'll go ahead and we'll buy it. And we'll start trying out, like, sampling it. Here we go. See, he's excited. So now he wants to go out and, like, collect some gems. In the snow, no less. You are a bold man, Roger. A very bold man indeed. But that would be kind of fun. And he does want to like be able to take care of his family. So not to mention he could kind of... I could totally see Roger being like, Yeah, Anita, I'm just going up to work on the gems that we can sell them for the family. For the family, Anita. For the family. And he's going up to play his music. Like occasionally. Not often. He's not like a jerk or anything. So he wouldn't do that all the time. But still. All right, Pongo, you're going to help us actually locate a collectible. So the way we can do this is we can grab Pongo and we can be locate collectible, locate gem. And then you wait a second. I think you have to stay on Pongo for this. And he shouldn't run after it. Usually he like goes and tries to look around. 
Don't try harvesting up the gems we already have. We have some Tiberiums over here. No way, are you really like digging something up? Oh, I think he's sniffing around for it. Because then he'll usually send us out, yes, like this, to map view. And we can see where some gems are. And we can actually send Roger off to collect them. So it looks like we do have a few gems nearby. It's kind of like having your own little collection helper. Um, except you can't really like click on it from here. So there's a gem right over here even. Somewhere in the snow. Is this it? Yeah, there we go. And I can go ahead and we'll send Roger off to collect it. Thank you very much, Bongo. Let's try this again. Locate collectible. I'm going to have him go ahead and locate a like a couple more. Aha! He's still in the locate collectible mode. So I'll just come down here. And somewhere in the snow. Man, this is hard when it's snowing. Somewhere in the snow over here. There should be some more rocks. I don't think we're going to find it when it's this kind of weather. Well, darn. That makes things a little tricky. Fooey. All right. Well, we'll just have to rely on what the dog's brain back. That's okay. That'll just give him more time to work on his music skills anyway. All right. So he's off to go collect up some things. And Bridget is ready to go pass out. So she needs to go to her bed and just sleep for ages. Because she has been through too much. She also wants to start collecting gems. Everybody's super excited about the gem collecting. All right, and he just found a yellow sapphire, so it's not worth that much. That's a good thing. And now we can send Roger up here with his little yellow sapphire and cut a stack of gems. Um, we'll have him try that out. All right, and he also wants to toss Andrea in the air. Y cut three gems using the emerald gem cut. So we'll do that too. And that was actually the very first gem he's found and his dogs haven't brought to him. So that's kind of hilarious. All right, let's wake this puppy up. Come over and chew on some things, little pup pup. In fact, why don't you come over and eat and then chew on some things. Want to take care of the puppy. Perdita is fatigued from training fatigue. I'm going to go ahead and have her get a toy. Let's see. All the children in your household will be taking a trip to the little Corsian Bistro tomorrow. Yep, let's send them off there. They should have a good time at the Bistro. <gasps> Yay! Terry has just got on the honor roll. He will always remember the day his name was read off as one of the top students. Oh my gosh, yes. That's what Roger wanted. Now he has another one of his things, like, fulfilled. Oh boy. Congratulations, Terry. He wants to pillow fight with his friend, Tisha. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. I'm going to go ahead and make the adopt -a stray disappear for now because I don't know if I can actually make it work. So, oh wow, we could do oval cuts now. Oh my goodness, yes, yes, oval cut it. All right, sweet. How do you know how many cuts you can have? Whoops, that's not what I wanted. I think you want like the opportunities from skills or something like that. Does he even have anything? How do you even know how many cuts you can get? I don't even know. Is it like collection? There's something somewhere. Uh, university, home opportunities, adventures. I'm trying to remember. Collection journal. There you go. All right. Gems. And then here are those gems. Yellow sapphire. How many he's collected. Number of times cut. Hmm. Tiberium is the rarest it looks like. Wow. We are so lucky. All right, so he just dropped in a giant sapphire. Now I'll have to see what happens to it. Hmm. Ooh! That was cool. All right, so that's what happens when you do, like, the cut gemstones then. Noted. Cut three gems using the emerald cut. So, man, I really hate to use it on, like, open... On anything that's worth too much but let's do the septarian nodules and let's see what's some other cheaper things we don't really have a lot of cheap stones because our dogs find amazing stones and a diamond so I'm gonna have to have him like cut up a diamond all right let's cut a stack of gems again and we'll go a diamond can we can we tell him to do all these nope diamond and we're gonna do emerald cut because that's what he wants to do so he drops in the giant old stone, like the whole thing. Puts it into the gym cutter. It looks like Alicia Kegel is actually improving her life a lot. She's improved her athletic skill just then. And her handiness skill. And it looks like she has a new job. Why aren't you... Oh, she can't sleep because it's too noisy on the lot. Oh my gosh. 
That sucks for her. All right, well, Roger's almost done. He just cut up the diamond. And we'll cut up the nodule now. Oh, you can only do the nodule in a polished split cut. Well, okay. Whatever gives him some experience. All right, and the kids are almost home from school. So... Oh, I feel so bad for her. She's like, I am so done with this. I am so miserable. Okay, so everybody will react to this thing and how noisy it is, no matter where it is on the lot. Noted. Oh, so that's what we could do with those things. Noted, okay. So now you can only do polished split cut with those. Well, all right, so now I know we're gonna talk to Percy. Bridget's like gonna leave the household at this point. She's just done with life. We'll send her to bed. Come here, come sleep, come sleep. It's okay, you can come sleep. And we're back home with the kids. And apparently we have a phone call coming in for Terry. Let's answer the phone. Come on, Trisha. I hope it's Trisha. I hope it's Trisha saying that she's gonna come over. Oh, it's a scavenger hunt. Perfect timing! In an attempt to get kids excited about geology, the Rock Hounding Club at Holy Cow Memorial Hospital has sponsored a scavenger hunt to retrieve various gems and medals from around town. They're offering a cash prize to any kid who manages to collect them and bring them to the lab. That is so fun! All right, we will accept that opportunity. And we need three pieces of metal and three gems. Man, we could just use what the dogs have gathered. That would be pretty hilarious. And that's cool, but we actually really want our friend Trisha to come over now. We're going to try inviting her. For oh, we woke the baby with the gem cutter. I feel terrible. I didn't know we were going to wake the baby with the gem cutter. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Um. Oh, gosh. Like, it's so late. Everybody is so tired. Anita... Uh, wants to just like clean the dishes. Who even knows anymore? Oh gosh. All right. There's a lot going on There's a lot going on and nobody likes the gym cutter because it's so terribly noisy. I have learned something new All right, Meredith. What am I gonna? Ah, oh, dang it. Try calling back in 23 hours from Trisha. I am so worried about Tisha. I wish I knew more about her All right and what's going on here? All right, move inside, Terry. Your mom's freaking out because she can't reach you. Oh, Tisha has just improved her fish fishing skills. So somewhere out there in this world right now, Tisha is busy fishing. Tisha, why? Tisha, come, come, come over. We're going to try inviting her over again. And if we can't do that, we'll at least chat with her for a while. Oh, the baby is so miserable. All right, Anita, you can clean up later. Child music musicians often grow up to be child prodigies. All right, let's go ahead and snuggle little Emma. She's having a hard day. Oh, Tisha, I'm so worried about you. I guess all we can do at this stage is just like call her and chat with her on the phone. Because they really do want to be best friends. All right, Meredith is, where's Meredith? Asking her dad for a bedtime story. That's kind of adorable. She really wants to be read a bedtime story too. Um, but it's so early. I just don't want her to go to sleep in the wrong bed either. You know what? If she's so tired, that's just the end of it. Let's go ahead. We will have her ask her dad for a bedtime story because that's really sweet. She wants to finish a book like everything she has right now and her, her desires and wants is like writing and book related. Talk about imaginary friends. She can do that with her dad. Ask for a bedtime story. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, it's really dark because I guess it's winter and it gets darker earlier now, too. Oh, Tisha, I'm so worried about you. I wish you could just come over. Are you homeless? Are you sleeping on a bench? Who knows? Who knows? Apparently a whole bunch of kids. Jared's off fishing right now, too. Tisha has improved her fishing skill to level two. What is going on? Where are all these children fishing in winter? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Look at all these rocks. Holy moly! We need to collect some of these things. They're everywhere. Wow, is that like a meteorite? It's a geode. Iron. It'll actually tell us what they are. More iron. Supernovium. Rubies. Copper. Wow. Wow. There's some good stuff to be collected in this town. Where is like the fishing spots? Because I'm convinced there's something going on with the puppies now. Or the puppies? The kids. Are they over here? Where would you be fishing? Everywhere looks like it's it's like it's frozen over. Are they over here? 
Where are all these children fishing? Are they in a fishing class together? I mean, I'd send Terry there too if I knew where everybody was and what they're doing. Oh my goodness, I'm so worried. I'm so worried about the Kegel children. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. Smoky quartz, blue topaz, bloodstone, emeralds. Well, you know what? It'd actually be pretty useful to end up with a collection helper. Hmm. Maybe Terry will get that one day. All right, well, I have no idea where the Kegel children are. It makes me worry, so. We have learned that Roger, for all his noisiness that he can actually do... Did he just turn down his daughter for a bedtime request? No, he's going to do it. Okay, good. Uh, let's read... What should we read to her? Logic Volume 1. Don't stay within the lines. Ballards, ballards. I think that's what he would read because he's such a see, he's such a music inclined dad. All right, do we have some sleep going on over here? Come on, you can go to sleep now. Yeah, all of the kids in town are all fishing somewhere. I have no idea what's up with them, but it's quite interesting. All right, let's come in here. We're gonna finish cleaning up these dishes. Clean up dishes. We'll serve some dinner. Can we not serve any dinner? Oh, she must have a counter to be able to prepare this. Well, she has a counter now. And she's happy because she just cleaned. And she's learning a few new things. So veggie rolls. I think vegetarian chili sounds like a good meal to serve everybody. Because it's been so cold. Alright, good. So Terry is still talking to his friend Tisha. So that makes me happy. Look at this. So Alicia has actually gotten a major promotion to squad leader. So I wonder if they're going through something new because their parents split up. Oh, Terry's doing his homework all on his own. I am so proud. Meredith, where the heck are you going? She's trying to ask her dad for a bedtime story again. I don't think it's going to work, sweetie. I don't think it's going to work. I'm going to have her go ahead and nap. Oh, there's Pat again. Oh my gosh, that's so creepy when they just show up out of nowhere like that. Now, why won't he read his daughter a bedtime story? Oh, I think he got trapped by dogs. <laughs> I think that's the problem. And where's Percy? He wants to talk to Percy. Here's Percy. So we'll go ahead and we'll talk to Percy and see if there's anything. Um, reinforcement. Praise for... Oh, no. Well, we don't really need to praise or condemn that. Uh, affection. Talk to. Affection. Feed. Treat. Affection. Sniff. Hand. Maybe he'll spend some time with Pongo. Uh, and it looks like Chance. So maybe Chance is the town slacker. So maybe that's why he and his wife always fight so badly. Because they fight really... Well, they're not husband and wife anymore because they've split up. Um, let's see. Sniff Stray Cat. Nuzzle with Thunder. I guess we'll have Roger stay inside. Nope. Stay here. Stay here. Let Pongo come inside. Let Pongo come inside. Alright. There's Perdita. Where's Pongo? It's hard to get everybody in the barn sometimes when you're trying to... Look at all these animals. I need more doors, I guess. All right. Roger, we're going to have you spend some time with Pongo. Affection hug. Affection feed treat. And teach tricks. Um, He wanted to teach Pongo something. Oh, look. He wants to actually play with Pongo. Play tug of war. It's been a long time since he've had, he's had a chance to play tug of war with his dog. So I think that'll be a good thing. All right. There we go. My gosh. So much going on all the time. Smoochy with his dog. And teach trick. And we were working on shake last time, I think. And we're working on teaching tricks with the dogs because the rule is that the breeding pair of dogs does, before the end of their lifetime, have to know all of their tricks. Bridget, what? Where are you? Why are you unroutable? I, I thought you were just napping. Here, come sleep in your bed. She doesn't even know what's happening anymore. She's like, I'm miserable. Are you going to pass out in the snow? Okay, she's okay. She's okay. All right, now our little musical genius Andrea down here is doing well. And how's Meredith? Meredith is doing pretty well. She's just power napping. And where's Terry? Terry! 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 What are you doing? No wonder! Your poor nanny! Like, I can't believe that! That was so rude, Terry! I'm glad you were doing your homework, but right in front of your nanny's, like... Right in front of your nanny's bed? Like, that was just silly! That was just absolutely silly. Alright, what's Anita's problem? Oh, too spicy! She had ghost chili?! She put ghost chili in the vegetarian surprise?! That's just... Anita! 
I don't even know what to say to that. All right. And she wants to walk the dogs. And she also wants to pick up Andrea. So Andrea seems to be doing okay. Oh my gosh. I love this family. They keep me so on my toes and so busy. I'm going to let her go ahead and try to get her cooking skill up. Because that's something she's wanted to do for a long time. And otherwise, how are we doing over here? We have somebody who's now obsessed with cutting gemstones. So that's going to be pretty interesting for our wonderful Roger here. I think he'd want a collection helper if Terry doesn't manage to get one first. We have mother and son spending a little time bonding over here. And Meredith, once she wakes up from her nap, I'll have her do her homework too. Because she needs to do her homework before she goes to school. And who knows what all the kids in the neighborhood are up to. I have no idea what that's all about. Oh, Kia Kegel has just grown up. But yeah, I have no idea what that is all about with the kids who are all off fishing. It's uh, who knows? Who knows? I'm not going to ask any questions. It's just kind of amazing. All right. Oh, and I forgot we can have her bake and do little things. So we might have her bake some plates of muffins later because that would be kind of fun. But all right, you guys. So it looks like that is about it for the busy, busy family right now. Stay on the honor roll for three days is one of the things he wants to do. We have a little musical genius in the making down here. The Kegel kids, who even knows where they are? I have no idea. We're training up our dogs, so hopefully the dogs will continue to develop new skills. I am still so in love with this puppy's coloring. It is one of the best things ever. It really is. And we'll just have to see where the family ends up next time. So, our skills in turtle about... How are you two still so far away from aging up? How are you still so far away? Is aging like frozen on these people? What is going on here? Days till aging up three. Days till aging up three. Ah, three days. Three of the longest days I've ever lived through. But yeah, we're just kind of being patient, raising everybody, hopefully teaching Pongo some awesome new tricks. We'll teach Padita and Rolly some awesome new tricks too. Thunder is being cool, playing around with his siblings getting sniffed by everybody. When there's more puppies around, everybody gets a lot more distracted. No, I'm not going to let you sleep outside again. It is winter. Get inside, child. You are going to be extreme sleeping in your own bed. It's not Meredith. Both of those are not Meredith's bed. One of those are your, is your bed. Your sister cannot come claim both of the beds. Oh my gosh, that's so silly. Ah, and I'm tripping over my words because there is still so much to do and I absolutely love it. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful time and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.